Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronauts and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. Abyss Floor 70, 5 Molagora Go. That's really nice. Now that's of course not the team I'm going with. I was reading the skills on uh, the boss and it could actually fail. Let's see. Eat all of the light. This thing penetrates defense 50%. Sing, uh, not single target attack. Attacks two enemies. 50% chance to stun. And then this attacks all enemies with a blinding ray penetrating defense 100%. Damage dealt increased proportional to the caster's defense. So uh, applying defense down on this boss is going to be huge because of course you don't want him to... Uh, well, he's going to deal uh, way more damage if you don't uh, drop defense down debuff on him. Or on her, she's a her. Okay, uh, Sacred Mana Enhanced, strengthens uh, mana, increasing attack of the caster at the beginning of each turn and granting immunity from having their combat readiness decreased. So Silk with combat uh, combat readiness uh, uh, reduction on skill 1 is not going to be uh, useful here. Still going to go with her, see uh, what kind of damage I'll be taking. 75% chance decreased attack 1 turn. Extra turn, 2 turn cooldown. Immunity for one turn. This thing. 20% chance to stun one turn. Uh, recovers health based on how many debuffs are on the caster and then removes them. Attacks all enemy three turn cooldown. And uh, when there is a debuff on this monster, he just counter attacks. A really annoying monster. Dark Dream Leech. 50% whoa 50% uh, ignore 50% of the enemy's defense attacks all enemies unhealable for two turns two turn cooldown more damage uh, the lower your health is at that's an annoying floor it looks like can get an extra turn 20% chance you could I wonder if you could be super unlucky and just the monster will keep on proccing this thing. But I think it can only happen once. Wow. Dispel all debuffs. If it's on the boss level. I'm just gonna put Angelica in front. She uh, she has more health than Clurry. Clurry is uh, built for defense. Okay, so let's deal with this uh, guy in the back. Just gonna auto this so really like uh, that that twist like it's gonna be on the uh, the wave with the boss so you're definitely gonna want to take out the ads before you uh, work on killing the boss because I mean you can just start landing some uh, poison debuffs they're just gonna be taken off uh, daydream joker could work but remember that the boss keeps on getting attacked so he's getting stronger and stronger and uh, well if you're just chipping at his health uh, slowly chipping at his health is not going to be enough the guardian you can use the guardian uh, to deal uh, like 10 percent i would have to go read one exact number but uh, the first guardian is like 10 percent uh, of the target's max health on all of them because it's an aoe and it's like 40 percent of the team's attack Deal, uh, dealt in damage, but uh, Daydream Joker with the with the spamming Guardian every time it's up, uh, you could potentially kill the boss. But you're gonna have to survive quite a bit of damage, I believe. We'll see what kind of damage the boss is gonna deal. But I don't have like like not even 8,000 health on Silk. Clary is at just below 10,000. Bellona, uh, we'll see when she goes. Jalika is the only one with a good uh, amount of health. 8,400 health on Bellona. So we'll see. Definitely want to kill the boss as fast as possible, but there's also all the... There's going to be the add to deal with... Oh, 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 okay. I've been talking and not paying attention. need to get my skills ready, but it's a bit too late now. Uh, most of them are ready. It's fine. 
Wow. This floor is no joke. Here are the monsters that counterattack if they have a debuff. Now Bellona is just gonna debuff them. So Yeah, every time they're attacked they're gonna counterattack. So I'm gonna use Clurry. This Wisp, I, I can't remember if the, the skill that dispelled that, I think that was like the second or, or uh, third skill, so I can provoke this uh, monster in front. Anyways, let's look at this healing touch. At the beginning of the turn, dispel all debuff inflicted on the caster. Okay, so yeah, poisons is out of the question here. So that's the kind of stuff you can't see when you, uh, you're you about to uh, uh, start the uh, like the battle. It doesn't show. Holy Shield greatly decreases the damage received by the caster when attacked, but damage received increases every time the caster is attacked. Increased damage effect can stack up to 6 times. This effect is dispelled when the caster starts their turn. Okay, so if you're fast, if you have speed buff, and like let's say you have speed down debuff on the boss, you're slowing him down, her down, can't reduce combat readiness on this boss, but if you have enough speed, you could uh, go uh, up to six times and you're going to deal more and more damage against the boss. So speed works here quite well. But yeah, immunity from combat readiness. Uh, so here, we'll just start. I don't want to land debuffs on all these monsters, but it's, it's just going to happen with Bellona. Anyways, I'm gonna work on this guy. Might as well... Uh, get this up. And now let's provoke that... Uh, the Wisp, because it's, uh, if I don't do it on, on this uh, monster, he's just gonna dispel it. Well, here's the debuffs now that will be triggered on everyone. I, I, of course, everyone but the boss. Alright, it, it doesn't matter, might as well go uh, all in with the debuffs because uh, that's the strength of my uh, my group. How is uh, like these debuffs not getting applied to, my, uh, to, to the boss though? Like 100%. Oh, 50% effect resistance on the boss. And you see the increased combat readiness is... Uh, it, the boss is immune to it. Alright, let's just kill this thing. Before it loses the pro provoke. Yeah, that that is... That's the first attack from this boss. And it's already dealing quite a bit of damage. And that's ignoring 50% of the uh, my defense. So it's definitely a bad start. That means I'll be taking a ton of damage. I'll be taking a ton of damage in a second. Alright, now I'm gonna get hit by counter attack. Don't stop. Alright, work on the top add. Definitely want to take the adds down because It's just gonna start to become uh, too much. If you get unlucky with the boss hitting whoever on your team is getting countered, like could be bad. I'm just gonna provoke the the one at the bottom because that's that's not the one I'm trying to kill. But the the monster still can can still counter attack whoever attacks it, even with provoke. That's just the way it works. You're, you're gonna need to have a solid like group with mostly uh, with high HP pools and not so much about defense because this boss ignores defense. So you might have to move some gear around to uh, facilitate the battle. 
uh, Daydream Joker, because if you're very tanky, it will uh, it will be much safer. Having a barrier, like if you can, you're, you 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 have to put your barrier up before the boss uses this thing, or if you can potentially put this cool thing on cooldown and avoid it altogether, that also works. Like like Kise or Judge Kise, but I mean that is one possible way to do it but i believe it's gonna hurt that thing is really gonna hurt that attack buff on the boss is the one that just stacks i believe so there's no way around it should have started using the guardian probably Actually, maybe I'm gonna have to work on bursting the boss down. Unfortunately, I cannot reduce the combat readiness. Makes things tricky. Just keep on working on this ad so I'm done with it. At least it's done now. It's a good time to attack it so I don't have to deal with these guys. Oh my god, come on. Okay. At least the boss is not gaining turns too fast. So it's not building its attack at the uh, crazy amount of, like, at the fast rate. What is going on? Am I just not landing my things? We'll see in a second here, because there we go. All right. Get this thing going. Gaining speed over the boss and lowering the boss's speed is huge. Definitely not hitting for as much as I would have hoped. Now Silk is at a very low amount of health. This is not good. This is not good. She could get bursted down here. I cannot. I'm not gonna soul burn her. I don't want, actually. Angelica is gonna go. I don't want soul burn and lose my uh, barrier. She needs to retain it. Now let's heal up and hope for the best. Oh god! I lose the barrier. Ah, oh, I lose it. You know what? Might as well. It, it's it's the time to go. It, it's time to go. Might as well buff the... Mm, that's the last one. The, the last one. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, because after six attacks... The boss is just taking more and more damage. So this is actually a viable strategy. Silk is putting some work, but now I might just get like... I could lose two heroes here. She's gonna lose a barrier, Bellona. If I lose Silk and Bellona, it's, it's over. Here we go. That's it. I was expecting a higher, much higher multiplier on that day. Wow, okay. If this boss... you Let us know in the comment section if you've done it with poison because... I, I believe that the poison just deals the damage and then the boss will dispel the debuff, so I I know bleed just deals the damage. Like just before the boss goes kinda deal. 
So I, I think maybe Poison gets dispelled, it doesn't deal the damage, but maybe it does deal the damage and then get dispelled. Let us know in the comment section if, uh, if you've done this with Poison. Because I know a lot of you guys are relying on Poison and it's one of the easiest ways to uh, deal with this place. Well, in most of most of the floors, anyways, it d definitely speeds things up. Because if you have to just rely on Daydream Joker, you're in for some long fights. But it's doable. It's doable. Uh, Buzz about to go, but maybe that's it. Alright, that, that wasn't crazy. That wasn't as crazy as I, I would have thought it would be. Wait, what happened there? thought boss would be dead. Nice! Five Molagora go. That's beautiful! That's gonna be so handy. Alright. Alright, well I'm out of uh, tickets for today for the Abyss. Keep on going. Uh, tomorrow so yeah let me show you my gear real quick uh, skill ups Bellona is just godly in the abyss skill ups for her silk Clory and Angelica and here's the gear just pause if I go too quick Thanks for watching guys, I'm Astronox, like, comment and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And uh, yeah, like uh, start a discussion in the comment section about uh, viable strategies for this place. Like if you are just like doing it with Daydream Joker or if you are, if you did it with poison that'd be good to know but uh yeah daydream joker with just guardian and you just keep on using that and keep your team healthy is definitely a viable option here the boss i thought would be doing way more damage but it, it, it was underwhelming for the amount of health i have on my heroes and the boss just straight up ignoring defense i was expecting much more if you have uh uh, the end it's gonna be a joke the uh, barrier is really strong but yeah thanks for watching guys uh, check out my other videos they are on the screen now all right peace out for now